Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the DOS Archives, YouTube videos of classic DOS games along with commentary. Today's video is Spiss Bot, also known as Smashing Pumpkins, into small piles of future debris. Or how I, like so many others, like to call it Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, there's no connection between this game and Smashing Pumpkins the band, unfortunately. Anyway, Smashing Pumpkins started out in the early 90s, around 1993, as part of a post directed at ID Software regarding the Doom sequel. This original post led ID Software to implement the joke as a cheat code within Doom which allows the player to walk through the worlds representing an early form of no-eclipse seen in future games, uh, examples being Half-Life series. By the end of December 1993, two video games were created based upon the joke, one being the current duty game you're now witnessing, rumored to have been developed in 48 hours, and of course, another known as uh, Amazing Spitzpod. The goal of the game, like many others, uh, early 90 games is quite actually quite simple. You take control of a character whose job is to collect all the candles in the room while fighting off baby pumpkins with red hammers that are thrown. Once all the candles are collected, the screen flashes once, which means your character can now finish the level by standing on the red loading zone to board the rockets to the next level. Originally, there were sound effects, uh, but due to a hassle when it came to the emulation program, I can only pick up the music, which is just as bad. The only weapon in the game is a hammer, which can be only be used once it's picked up. These hammers are vital to the player's survival. You can't fight the uh, pumpkins unless you have a hammer. Uh, there are multiple enemies in each level, ranging from baby pumpkins to, well, bigger pumpkins. Every now and then, on certain stages, you will come across unique enemy pumpkins, which include multicolored pumpkins, frozen pumpkins, swimming pumpkins with spit, Pumpkin bits at you, and of course, big massive pumpkins that spews baby pumpkins. Uh, that's like a tongue twister trying to say pumpkins that many times. Uh, destroy these spawn, destroy, make sure you destroy those spawn bushes uh, quickly because those baby pumpkins spawn, and when they spawn, they can be a prick. There are also multiple power ups and bonuses in the game, which include invincibility, hammer power ups, extra points, and power which allows you to throw your hammers a lot faster, which is hell good, which is a hell of a lot of good when it comes to destroying those pumpkin spawned bushes. And I can tell you, that has helped me on so many times. Um, on e At the end of each level, well at the end of this level from what I know, um, there, is humorous, there is a humorous message shown before the big boss appears. For each level showing a new message which kind of ties on to the previous message played before. If that makes sense, good. If that doesn't, I apologize. Now, as from what I can gather, there are bosses on each area, but sadly, I, and I'm guessing many elders have had trouble trying to defeat, uh, or trying to defeat these levels to get up to the bosses, because the game is actually quite fucking difficult. Especially when it comes to controls with movements uh, restricted to arrow keys and spacebar used to attack. And that's horrible when you're trying to get past a, you know, a small little alley, or a small corner, and there's water all around. Apart from this level, there are multiple levels to play, each with their own, sometimes unique stages and enemies, and of course, their own god awful 8 bit music, which sadly cannot be adjusted in game. It is a 1993 game after all, but you know, it, well, let me phrase that it is a 1993 game which has only been created in 48 hours, and it's very simple. And as you can see right now, big ass pumpkin. Uh, there are different types of like, new stages, for example an ice world, a uh, forest world, a crazy multicolored world, a space world, and a desert world. Uh, now something I want to mention is the gracious amount of humorous yet eight, I mean, let me rephrase that, sorry. Uh, what I like to mention is the gracious amount of violence, which is actually quite humorous because it's 8-bit violence uh, that is shown in the game. Every time you come into contact with an enemy, blood sprays on your screen and your health bar depletes itself. Uh, players can fall into space and explode into red 8-bit squares down in water, uh, drown in water thanks to tight passages, wrong turns, and if the meter drops below zero, the player's head blows off, uh, followed by their arms and a spray of red blood. These over-exaggerated deaths are followed by the message, you suck on the screen, right before restarting the level right from the beginning. This game brings back all sorts of nostalgia for me, especially when I haven't played it since the mid-90s. And when I, when I when I was a young tyke, and all I can say, the time I spent on this game as well as was well worth it, both as a kid and an adult.